Hello everyone, welcome to e-learning of OCM's lecture. In our last lecture, we have started with the types of warehouses. In that we saw three types, public warehouse, private warehouse and bonded warehouse. We will be saying more four types today. So without wasting time, let us proceed with the PPT now. So the fourth type of warehouse is duty paid warehouses. So what is duty paid warehouses? In earlier third, third point was bounded, means their duty is not paid. Custom duty is not paid, right? But what is duty paid warehouse? If an importer faces any problem in transportation of goods, after making payments of duty, then goods can be stored at duty paid warehouses. It is also uh, situated in uh, dock areas only near seaports, near airports. Okay. Means suppose uh, importer is, uh, he imports from UK to Mumbai in, on, on Mumbai's airport. Okay. And he needs to export it in Australia. The situation is Mr. X imports goods from UK and he needs to export that goods in Australia. At that time, he will pay the custom duty, he will pay the tax and he will store his goods in duty paid warehouse. At airport only, he won't be taking that uh, goods to his warehouse. Means he will be uh, storing his goods in duty paid warehouse so that at the time of export uh, he can just take that warehouse uh, that uh, goods of his and he can export it okay means transport charges are skipped here okay if an importer faces any problem in transportation of goods after making payment of duty then goods can be stored at the duty paid warehouse Duty paid means here duty is paid, means here custom duty is paid, here tax is paid. Okay. All duty paid warehouses are public warehouses which are available to all importers. Yes. It is for all importers. Okay. Duty paid, paid warehouse help the importer as proper care of goods are taken. Of course, the warehouse keeper is taking proper care of goods. He is protecting the goods plus he is also processing of goods can be done like uh, sorting, repacking, etc. Okay, like UK had, has sent their goods on stamp of it, on sticker on it. But when it, it comes to Mumbai, Mr. X can uh, give his own and by duty paid warehouses okay in simple words duty paid warehouse where duty is paid and it is stored near dock areas only okay and warehouse keeper also uh, plays functions like processing of goods shorting of goods i told you a grade b grade c grade according to the quality and repack it okay it is done by duty paid warehouse also such warehouses are more useful for re-export of the goods. As I told you, importing is done and then we need to export our goods again. So importing and exporting, at that time this duty paid warehouse is very useful. Then located, as I told you, located near ports, dock areas, seaports, airports, okay? Then government warehouse, these warehouses are owned Owned, managed, and controlled by central or state government or public authorities. Yes, these warehouses are owned by central government or state government. It is difficult for small farmers, businessmen, traders to own warehouse. Of course, they don't have so much of capital. They don't have so much of money, money that they can construct their own warehouse. So government provides them warehouse. Okay, government provides them help of warehouse. 
ओके एट नॉमिनल रेट नॉमिनल मीन्स लेस मनी लेस चार्जेस लेस फीस so government warehouse owned by the central government owned by the state government or it can be owned by the public authorities it is specially for the people who cannot afford their own warehouses okay and government is the owner of these warehouses and it is there to help uh, people okay assist them in storing their goods at nominal charges means you need to pay less charges to government warehouses and your goods will be stored there and protected there okay these are examples we are having warehouse across the states and countries okay cwc swc fci okay then cooperative warehouse what what is cooperative warehouse these warehouse are owned managed and controlled by cooperative societies of course it is especially for rural areas all right these type of warehouse are very useful for farmers and traders of course they provide warehousing facility at the most economical rate to the members of society and also to the public it is especially for members of society who are member of society you know uh, the meaning we have learned in forms of organization right these services given to specially for members like we we know the uh, types of corporate societies marketing processing yes so these are the warehouses which help their members only and it 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 may also help other public also okay so these warehouse are specially for the members and after that priority is given to other public all right then cold storage warehouses very much important cold storage warehouse provide facility of perishable commodities perishable means which can get rotten very easily okay like fruits flowers vegetable dairy products milk etc so these are the uh, perishable goods these are the means which which get rotten very easily you cannot use it for long time so cold storage warehouse are also there which protect these types of goods like fruits like flowers like vegetables milk etc okay in cold storage warehouse goods are stored and refrigerated at very low temperature okay cold storage means of course you can say big big fridge are there refrigerators are there okay where low temperature is the goods are stored at low, low temperature so as to preserve them and use for long time in future all right international trade for these products has become possible only with cold storage warehouses we can import these things only because of cold storage warehouses without the help of cold storage warehouses these things cannot be protected or we cannot import such things or we cannot export such, such things example is given here green pea uh, peas um, uh, produced in india are, are exported to foreign countries means we are exporting uh, peas to foreign countries with the help of cold storage warehouses okay these were the four types of warehouses we learned today right first one was duty paid warehouse where uh, where duty is paid custom duty is paid and goods are stored there it is mainly for re exporting okay then we saw government warehouse it is owned by central and state government it is for people and fees is very normal there then we saw cooperative warehouse it is mainly for the member of cooperative societies it is controlled managed and owned by cooperative societies only okay then we saw cold storage warehouse where perishable goods are stored okay which which get rotten very easily okay like fruits flowers vegetable dairy products and we learned that we export green peas to other countries okay with the help of cold storage warehouses okay children so today we we have finished with the fourth chapter okay we we learned the business services 
in that we learned banking is first service then insurance and warehouse two services are skipped that is transport and communication so here we finished with the fourth chapter you need to complete your notes and give it to me on time okay we learn about banking we learn about insurance we learn about warehousing this chapter is very much important and uh, for at least 22 marks it comes in your exam okay in banking we saw different types of banks are there what are the functions of commercial banks right then in, in insurance we saw the meaning of insurance we saw the types of insurance uh, water insurance that is marine insurance fire insurance life insurance right then today we have completed with the warehousing we saw the meaning of warehousing we saw the functions of warehouses what it does repacking packing grading yes protecting the goods then we also saw the types of warehousing that was private warehouse, public warehouse, then bonded warehouse, duty paid warehouse, government warehouse, cooperative warehouse and good uh, cold storage warehouses. Okay, so we have finished with the fourth chapter here. Try to learn it. Try to uh, do your notes. Okay, and if you have any doubt, please ask. All right, so children stay home and study.